Is intelligent design really science? Richard Dawkins, formerly Oxford's professor of the public understanding of science and arguably the best known Darwinist on the planet, claims that those who do not believe in evolution are, in his words, ignorant, stupid, or insane. In place of rhetoric and emotional stereotypes, however, intelligent design proponents actually propose reason and empirical science. First, ID proponents are willing to follow scientific evidence wherever it leads. ID theorists neither presuppose nor preclude supernatural explanations for the phenomena that they encounter in an information-rich universe. As such, the intelligent design movement rightly practices open-minded science. Furthermore, intelligent design begins with the common scientific principle that intelligent design is detectable wherever there is specified organized complexity. In other words, wherever there's information. This design principle is central to many scientific fields, including archaeology, uh, forensic pathology, crime scene investigation, cryptology, as well as even the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. When applied to information-rich DNA, irreducibly complex biochemical systems, the Cambrian explosion in the fossil record, and the fact that Earth is perfectly situated in the Milky Way galaxy for both life and scientific discovery, the existence of an intelligent designer is the most plausible scientific explanation. One final point. Although its conclusions are not worldview neutral, intelligent design lends no more support to Christian theism than Darwinian evolution lends to atheism. Thus, the appropriateness of the intelligent design movement for, for public education ought to be judged on the basis of the theory's explanatory power, not on its metaphysical implications. Since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes have been clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans chapter 1, verse 20.